Have you read a lot about object-oriented programming, but you are not sure what it is or how to use it? Are you wondering what classes are? Or why object-oriented programming is so important to improve your programming skills? Hi everyone, my name is Marta. I work as a software developer for the past 10 years. Object-oriented programming is a really popular programming paradigm used in most companies. It's quite important to learn object-oriented programming if you want to become a software developer or if you are interested in learning programming. In this video I will show you what object-oriented programming is, how to use objects and classes in Python, and we will design a parking lot using object-oriented programming. Before we start, in case you find this video useful, feel free to subscribe or follow. This way, you will be notified when I upload more videos like this one. Let's start with classes and objects. The key concepts in object-oriented programming are objects and classes. Let's start with objects. In the real world, an object is anything tangible. Anything tangible that can be sensed, felt, and manipulated. In software, a class is a template or a blueprint of a collection of data and the associated behaviors. You create an object based on a class when you fill up the class with values. Let's see an example so this makes a bit more sense. Let's say that we would like to represent a person with a class. First, you will define what information is relevant to represent a person. In other words, what information from a person you need. And that will be the template. In this example, the data I will need is the name and the age. Then you define the behaviors. The behaviors are the methods. In this case, I will add two methods. One method called say hello and another called say age. When you fill the classes with real values, you are creating an object. You can also say that you are instantiating a class. Going back to the original question, what's object-oriented programming? Object-oriented programming basically means that you solve a problem or a task representing the entities of your problem as classes. Next question you are probably asking yourself is what's the benefit of using object-oriented programming? It helps to organize your code and keep together code that is logically related. Now let's see how to create a class in Python. First you add the class keyword and the class name followed by a column. All lines below should be indented. The indentation is important because it indicates to Python where the class starts and where it ends. After you will define the constructor of your class, which is always called init. After you will add any method that you want to add to your class. In all those methods, the first parameter is self and this indicates to Python that the method belongs to the class. Self also allows you to refer to the members of your class, and we will see an example in a minute. That covers the Python syntax. Now let's see that with an example. First, add in the class, then you will add the constructor, in which you will say to Python how to fill up your objects. In this case, the fields I will use are name and age. Then I will add the methods. The methods I will create are say hello and say age. The say hello method will print hello my name is and then the name of the person. The say age method will print my age is and the age of the person. Now we know what object-oriented programming is. 
what classes and objects are, and how to create objects and classes in Python. Next, we will design a parking lot using classes. We would like to design a parking lot where we would like to park cars. Let's assume that this is a small parking lot with two levels. Each level has two rows with two parking slots per row. It's a really small parking lot and every car will take one parking slot. This is how our parking lot will work. Now let's identify the entities, in other words, the classes in this problem. One will be the parking lot, also the level. Another class will be the parking slot and the car. Car is identified by its license number. The parking slot is identified by the row, the spot within the row, and the level. And each level is identified by the floor number. Now let's analyze the relationship between these classes. The parking lot has several levels. That means there is a composition relationship. So one of the fields in the class parking slot will be a list with levels. Levels have several parking slots. So there is a composition relationship as well. So one of the fields in the level will be an array or a list of parking slots. Now we will need to add some methods to achieve the goal, which is parking a car in a parking lot. Let's see how we can do that. First, we ask the parking lot class to park our car. To park the car, the parking lot class will need to find a free spot in one of the levels. Once we got a free parking slot, the parking lot class will say to the level, park the car in this parking slot. In case there is no free spot, the find available spot method will return none meaning there were no spots in the level. And this is how our object-oriented design will look like. We have four classes representing the entities of our problem and the relevant data. And in red, the actions each of those classes can perform. In the next video that you can find in the description below, I will show you how you can implement this design in Python and test it. In case you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe so you will be notified when I upload more videos. Thank you so much for watching!